What's going on guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you all better warriors. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Water Scroll from the Book of the Five Rings written by Miyamoto Masashi for the legendary samurai philosopher. Why is it important that we study samurai philosophy? These are precepts and principles that were written centuries and centuries ago, yet remain incredibly relevant today. Those warriors who are intelligent and thoughtful will ultimately be the ones who become the next generation of leaders in one form or another. We have to teach the younger generations and the generations that will precede us. We have to embrace and cultivate generations that will replace us. <clears throat> it is my intention with studying these precepts written ages ago to help us better understand the way. Last week, we looked at the way being through training. The week before that, we discussed never thinking dishonestly with yourself. This week, we're going to be discussing Masashi's concept of, quote, become acquainted with all of the arts, end quote. What did he mean by this? Was he talking about painting? Was he talking about tea ceremony? Was he talking specifically about martial arts? We have to look at this in the context of feudal Japan, right? When he says, become acquainted with all of the arts. I believe that he was talking about a broad range of arts and possibly not even specifically the war arts. Now, we have to remember that back then, every single art, every single aspect of war was divided into separate training houses. Now, I don't know their Japanese names because I'm not a nerd like that, but I know that there was a separate strategy for attacking with fire. There was a separate strategy for espionage. There was a separate strategy for grappling techniques and a separate strategy for hand-to-hand -hand standing up techniques. There was a separate strategy or training methodology for attacking with spears versus attacking with swords versus attacking with your short sword or your knife, right? There was, everything was divided up into its own thing. And it's similarly done today. We have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We have Muay Thai, right? We have... I guess the modern equivalent would be a skirma or something like that, dealing with knives. So it's similar today as it was back then. So when he said become acquainted with all the arts, obviously Miyamoto Musashi didn't freaking know what Taekwondo was, right? He didn't know what Western boxing was. He didn't know all these different, like, fighting arts from around the world. So he wasn't necessarily saying like, study Wing Chun, study this, study that. What he was basically saying was, look, a well-rounded warrior should know how to fight with his sword, should know how to fight without his sword, should know how to fight with a spear, should know how to fight with his, um, I'm blanking on the name, but you know, the little short sword. He should know all of these different aspects of training. But I believe he was also encouraging his disciples to study arts like tea ceremony, like calligraphy, J Japanese ancient calligraphy, like meditation. Why? Because it would teach patience. Um, it would teach many things, but specifically it would teach things like patience. I've actually sat through Japanese tea ceremonies in Japan. And believe me, it takes a lot of patience to sit through one of those freaking things. You know, to pour the tea from one cup to the other cup to the other cup, let it cool, wait this long, exactly one minute, 
okay, but you can't drink it yet. Pour it all out. Let every last drop fall into the cup. And then you pour it again. And then you can finally sip it, but only if you're sitting up straight this way. Listen, it's a lot. It, it's a long process and it will teach you a lot of patience. Without patience, you cannot have a strategist. It takes patience to win any type of war. It takes patience in any type of combat. I mean, obviously we all know combat can happen quickly in self-defense. Sometimes it's, oh shit, let me just fight. But if we're actually talking any type of strategy, patience is a real virtue. How can we apply this to our daily lives now, right? Become acquainted with every art. Well, there's two different directions we could go with this. Purely the martial direction would be, listen, you should be studying Jeet Kune Do. You should be studying Wing Chun. You should be studying Western boxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai. You should literally spend as much time as you can studying each one of these arts. And that's how a well-rounded martial artist is formed. If you look at modern mixed martial arts, UFC fighting stuff, right? What is it? It's a mix of all of these different arts. You have to wrestle. You have to do jujitsu. You have to know boxing and Muay Thai. And look how effective that is. And I don't want to argue with that's one of the most effective forms of fighting that there is today. Even if you look at what the special forces study, SOC P, right? Mixed martial arts with weapons. But let's go beyond that. Why should we study every art? Why, are, why should we be acquainted with every art? It makes us well-rounded. Now, I realize that in the Western world today, the arts <laughs> aren't really uh, studied too much. People are dumb. People are dumb as rocks, actually. But I feel that if we studied each art, you know, there are philosophies, the Rosicrucians and um, other groups like that out there that very clearly state that a man should become acquainted with all of the arts. This is not a new concept. Math, philosophy, science, astronomy, all of these things. And in all of these societies, shall we say, it is encouraged for a man to study and be acquainted with all of the different arts or schools of learning. Anybody can kick in a door and like button hook. Right? Like, you can train a monkey to do that. You could, probably. be interesting to see, actually. But not every man can think. Every man is capable of being a warm body on, on the battlefield. How long you'll last <laughs> is somewhat correlated to how smart you are. How well-versed you are. How much of a thinking man you are. We have to be philosophers and think thinkers, not only fighters. What really, de really distinguishes, distinguishes a true warrior, in my opinion, is somebody who not only can fight, but a man who can think as well and can articulate what his strategy is and why he is employing said strategy. When we study all of the arts and are acquainted with all of the arts, we thusly are making ourselves not only a better warrior, but a better person. And this is really what studying the arts is. This is ultimately what studying the war arts does for you. It goes way beyond knowing how to fight. It goes way beyond knowing how to fight with your hands or fight with a weapon or even fight inside a unit or a team. It translates to all aspects and areas of our life. And that's what we were discussing last week. The way is through training. When we 
learn. Patience, discipline, toughness, philosophy, strategy. We are thusly transforming ourselves into better men. I highly encourage all of you to become acquainted with books. Yeah, I encourage you to read, you fucking barbaric warriors. Become acquainted with books. It's that old uh, Bruce Willis movie. I read it. Have you ever opened the book, you ignorant motherfucker? I don't remember what that's from. But The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Book of the Five Rings by Miyamoto Masashi. What is it? Prince Machiavelli. I've never read that one. It's on my list. Other books like this. You know, The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. 33 Precepts of War, I believe it is. Something like that. There's a lot of great ones out there, just to name a few of them. As a warrior, you have to be a thinker. Mad Dog Mattis said that a reader is a leader. There's a reason why the Marine Corps has a suggested reading list. You want to be more than a simple soldier, street thug, knuckle dragger, door kicker. If you actually want to learn and grow as a warrior, you have to study this stuff and you have to be acquainted with all of the arts. That's my take on it, guys. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I will see you in the next Warrior Wednesday. Don't forget, go to fightingsecrets.com is the website. Online training is available. I'm absolutely honored and privileged to be able to provide you guys with high-level direct download training. We've got some pretty good t-shirts and stuff up there as well. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, motherfuckers.